Did you know that there are three things you can do right now to transform your health and they're free? 100% free. I'm going to share it with you in a second as I walk here in Miami this beautiful, beautiful Sunday afternoon slash early evening. So there's three things you can do for your health. They're all free. They're all powerful. And they're all going to help transform your health. Amanda, what's going on? Amado, what's going on? So number one. One thing you can do to have a huge impact on your energy levels, on your health. One thing you can do is just do what I'm doing right now. Walking. Every single day. If you go for an early morning walk, get that sun on your skin, get that sun through your retina, through your eyes, every single morning, 15, 20 minutes. I'm telling you, this is a game changer for your energy levels throughout the whole entire day. Number one... You help, you help set your circadian rhythm with Mother Nature. I mean, if you follow the rules of Mother Nature, she will reward you 10x. Ari, what's going on? Welcome back. Uh, I'm not sure if you're still in Mexico or not, but greetings, my, my brother. Eric, I'm in your neighborhood walking around. But yeah, if you help your body get synced with Mother Nature, I'm telling you, Mother Nature will reward you because we are designed to be in communication with Mother Nature. So when you go out there and get that morning sun on your skin through your eyes, you're going to activate cortisol in a healthy way. You're going to act activate vitamin D in a healthy way. And you're going to notice a significant increase in your energy level. So before you even grab your cup of coffee, before you even just wake up and grab your cup of coffee, go for a morning walk. Go out there with nature. Do some breathing exercises. Frank J, what's up, brother? Will, what's going on? So number one is to go for that morning walk. And I also recommend going for an afternoon walk like I'm doing right now. I'm telling you. Doing that is the part, one of the best parts of my day. You could listen to audio. You could go on Facebook Live. You could just be with, with nature and just breathe and just say hi to people. Hi. Hi. So there's many things you can do on that walk. Amelia, hi. So number one is go for that walk. Number two, and all of these are free, by the way. You don't have to pay anything for it. Giving to you for free, you don't have to pay anything to have it, and it's going to dramatically improve your health. Number two is the best supplement in the world. It's better than any protein, fat-burning supplement you can take. It's better than any food you can eat. It's free. And it is sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep is so crucial to your health. If you could get at least seven hours every night of quality sleep, you are gonna, it's gonna be a game changer for everything. Everything. Fat loss, yeah, fat loss for sure, because when you when you sleep, you do 98% of your fat burning takes place during sleep, during the deep delta, stage four sleep, you activate the top six fat burning hormones. So we typically go, let me switch hands here. We typically get about, during eight hours of sleep, we get about four to five waves of sleep, starting with stage one, two, three, four. During that stage four, you activate the top six fat burning hormones. And if you're not getting quality sleep, if you're not getting enough sleep, you're not gonna get these deep waves and you're missing out because if you are training hard and sacrificing sleep, you are not doing it the right way, in my opinion. Make time, make time for sleep. Not only that, when you sleep, your body repairs itself. When you sleep, your brain repairs itself. So prioritize sleep, try to get to bed during what's called money time sleep window. Hi, Amelia. Oh, we got Mitchell, what's up, brother? Happy Sunday. Look at this view, by the way, guys. Check out this view. It's freaking, I love Miami. Miami is freaking gorgeous. If you, if you can dig this view, give me, give me some hearts if you like this view. Look at that view. Give me some hearts. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I was talking about money time sleep window. There's a, there's a part during, there's a, a window 
during the nighttime between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. And that's called money time sleep window. You get double the amount of benefits. So one hour of sleep within this window is equal to two hours of sleep outside of this window. So if you are able to get to bed by 10 p.m. and get that money time sleep window, your body will reward you for it. Fred, what's going on? Mark, what's going on? Let's see. If anybody wants to hop on here, you can request to join. You can ask me a question. I would love to give you some, some coaching or some interaction. I would love to have a great conversation. If not, I'm gonna go on to number three. So I already gave you the first two. Number one was going for a daily walk every single day. It's free and it's powerful. Number two, getting quality sleep. It's free and it's so powerful. Can you guess what number three is? Number three is free. Number three is absolutely free. And I just wrote a book about it. I wrote a book about it. And it is something called intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, you save money, you save time, you save energy. You don't even have to think about it. You just skip that meal. And it's powerful. Intermittent fasting is not new. Intermittent fasting has not, it's not a, a trend or a buzzword. It, not something that people just discovered it's been around since the dawn of humankind it's been around since we've been around our ancestors had to fast there was that food available to them all the time they had to fast and when you skip a meal when your body hasn't eaten amazing things start happening the body starts to really react to this and uh cool things start happening first of all you teach your body to utilize fat which is in the form of your body fat right you teach your body to use that for fuel. I mean, the whole, the sole reason we store body fat is so we could burn it when we're not eating. This is why we don't die when we're sleeping. This is why we don't die when we're sleeping. So if you're able to utilize this and teach your body to have that metabolic flexibility, ability to burn fat and burn sugar, that's true health. And I tell people all the time, what's going on, Ted? Cindy, what's going on? Maciel, what's going on, Mark? I tell people all the time during my lectures, I say, skip a meal and see how you feel. If you skip a meal and you feel miserable, you can't focus, you can't think, well, you don't have that metabolic flexibility. You are what's called a sugar burner. And I used to be a sugar burner, nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just trying to say, if you wanna get optimal health, I recommend teaching your body to be fine without food. When you skip a meal, you shouldn't have to go crazy. Cindy. I know I'll probably see you tomorrow morning at the box. Um, there's a traffic jam here. So if you're able to skip a meal and feel great, like that's a sign that you have that metabolic flexibility. And I'll tell you what, I used to be somebody who had to eat every two to three hours. I had to wake up and eat breakfast. And breakfast is the dumbest meal of the day. Breakfast is... We're not designed to eat breakfast. I mean, if you look at our hormones, our hunger hormone ghrelin, it's at its lowest point in the morning, right? It's at its lowest point in the morning, which just goes to show you that we're not designed to eat it, to eat a large meal, especially a carb-rich meal in the morning. Because when you do, you have a surge of blood sugar, a surge of insulin, and that's gonna result in unsteady energy levels. Maciel says, how do you get out of the sugar burner stage? Oh, that's a great question. So you get out of the sugar burner stage by eating more healthy fats and eating less carbohydrates, specifically high glycemic carbs, like processed carbs. So once you do this for a period of time, maybe like two weeks or so, you're teaching your body to keep insulin low because healthy, because fats don't really raise insulin that much. In, in fact, if you were to have something that had 100% fat, that wouldn't raise insulin at all. It's, fat only gets, uh, excuse me, insulin only gets uh, a spike. You only spike insulin when you eat carbohydrates and protein. So if you could teach your body to keep insulin low by eating a lot of healthy fats, that is gonna teach your body to be a fat burner because our cell membranes, our cell membranes, they thrive off of burning fat for fuel. Priscilla, what's going on? So I always recommend to people before you even start fasting, before you start any kind of intermittent fasting, have healthy fats, maybe like a 
it doesn't necessarily have to be a ketogenic diet, maybe similar to it. Have like 50% of your total calories come from fat, healthy fats, for a period of time, two weeks or so, three weeks, and then you could try fasting. When do you have first and last meal? Now, are you asking me personally or my advice to people? Um, me personally, my first meal is around 4 p.m., 3 or 4 p.m. Uh, but up until that point, I'll have my coffee, uh, have bulletproof coffee, and I might have some green tea or ginger tea. Yeah, mine, so at four, 3 or 4 p.m., I'll have my first meal. It's usually bone broth. My first meal that I break is usually bone broth. Oops. Or um, it's usually actually a, a large fatty salad. So like five to seven cups of green leafy vegetables in the form of arugula, um, kale, baby spinach, spring mix, lettuce with a whole bunch of healthy fats. I drench it in olive oil, real olive oil, avocados, pumpkin seeds, maybe some salmon and eggs. I'll have a large fatty salad every single day. I recommend everybody have a large fatty salad. Then I'll wait a few, a little bit and then I'll have a, a large dinner around 6 p.m., 6 or 7 p.m. That's usually my eating window. Three to seven, I would say, is my average eating window. And it works great for me. I do this, I do this five days a week. And then one day I do a 24-hour fast where I don't eat anything. And then, and then one day I try to not fast at all. I try to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, although I don't do it as much as I would like. Uh, Mitchell. Sean wants to know, do you like chard lettuce? Yeah, I love chard lettuce, uh, Swiss chard. I love it. Any leafy green vegetable. I was looking, and I put this in my book that's coming out. They're, they're, they showed the brain scan of individuals who had a whole bunch of, a whole ton of uh, green leafy vegetables every day, like seven to 10 cups of green leafy vegetables every day. And they compared those brain scans to those individuals who rarely had green leafy vegetables and the, the individuals who were eating those green leafy vegetables they had their brains looked 11 years younger on the brain scan than the individuals who, was, who were not eating the green leafy vegetables so if you want to kind of in a sense reverse aging at least your brain's aging slow down the process of aging oh my god eat green leafy vegetables every single day and throw some healthy fats with it there's a great book out there by max lugavere uh, called Genius Foods, and all the foods you list in there are all the foods that I approve of. Uh, so that's a great book. If you haven't gotten my book yet that I just released last week, it's free. It's called The Intermittent Fasting Cheat Sheet. Discover how this ancient practice can transform your health. Go to fastingcheatsheet.com. You can get it in your inbox in like 10 seconds. So I'll send it to you. Ignacio, what's up? Zach, what's up, brother? So Zach knows all about this. I actually met Zach at a health conference a few months ago uh, from, uh, at uh, Dr. Pompa's health conference. Craig, what's going on? So let's see. And with this type of eating, you have enough energy to work out without feeling weak. Oh, absolutely. I have more energy when I'm fasting than when I don't. Because think about it. When you, when you're, when you eat, it doesn't give you energy when you eat food because it takes... It takes massive amounts of energy and resources just to chew the food, to digest the food, to assimilate the food. So you're taking all that energy away from the task at hand. Maybe it's lifting a barbell. It's a, it's a workout you want to complete. You're taking all that energy and you're distributing it for, for food, for the digestion of food. So I feel so much better when I'm working out in a fast state. And I continue the fast after I work out so I could harness the human growth hormone. That's super, super powerful. So once you teach your body to be metabolically flexible, you don't feel weak, you feel stronger. Um, you never feel lightheaded because I go hard and I either need to eat or take a nap after I go for two hours. Well, two hours is a long time to work out, um, Sean, Mitchell. So I, what are you doing for two hours? Is it a, is it a high intensity two hour workout or is it like a moderate cardio for two hours? I wouldn't work out for two hours. I, I do like a 40, 40 minutes to an hour, um, but high intensity, high intensity is good. So those were my, my top three tips, guys. They're free. Number one is walking every day like I'm doing. Number two is getting quality sleep. Number three 
is intermittent fasting. All, they're like, these are the three of the most powerful things you can do for your health and they're 100% free. I don't know why everybody doesn't do it, but do it, do it for 90 days. Do it for 90 days and oh my God, prioritize your sleep, get daily walks and do intermittent fasting. And oh my God, in 90 days, you're gonna come and give me a big hug because you're gonna be so freaking healthy and lean. You're gonna love it. If you haven't got my book yet, get it at fastingcheatsheet.com. I really appreciate you guys just hang, hanging out with me today on this uh, Facebook Live here. Um, I'm here in Miami. Scott sa- uh, Mitchell says, I'm a cardio fiend, either running or hits. Sometimes I do back-to-back classes. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's uh, counterintuitive to do back-to-back. Just do one class and you should be good. Hope that helps. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your Sunday.